What's going on everyone? Coach Big C here, back again with One in One Reviews. Now, before we get started, I am neither a doctor or medical expert, so if you are looking to make big changes to your diet or add in new supplements into your daily routine, please do consult with your doctor. Also wanna get into that this is not a sponsored post today. We are not being paid for this. This is again an honest, true, real-time opinion based on what I taste, how would things go in very real time. However, if you do purchase one of these items from one of our links, we do receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. Today we have Isopure. I'm super excited because uh, as you'll see here, the the, one of the main reasons uh, we actually have a bigger tub of creamy vanilla and a smaller tub of chocolate is because I actually use Isopure. I'm not someone who consumes a lot of my protein from supplements. I actually like to get it from food. However, when supplementing or I'm on the go or I just don't have a lot of time to intake through food, I do like to throw in protein shakes. And with that being said, Isopure is my go-to choice right now. They are well known for its purity and high quality, uh, which is one of the reasons why I, I favor it and one of the reasons why I like to utilize it if and when I am implementing um, protein shakes into my day. Now, interestingly enough, although they're, they're both made by the same company, uh, they are well known for uh, products being low carb, low fat, low sugar. But actually when it comes to the vanilla, there, there's zero grams of fat, zero grams of carb, uh, zero grams of sugar, which they actually promote on this one. And although this one promotes low fat, low carb, low sugar. Not very much, there's actually only one, one gram of carbs in this as well as 0.5 grams of fat and also no sugar. So they're well known for that. So you're really just getting a straight shot of protein when it comes to Isopure with a very, with a relatively clean ingredient profile. There is some artificial flavoring, um, but it, it is very hard to make a good protein without a little bit of artificial flavoring. I think a huge percentage of proteins out there have some sort of artificial flavoring. So again, not for everyone, but when you have a processed supplement that has to have shelf life, you know, there are things that typically have to be put in, into it, unfortunately, um, you know, and, and so those things are in there, but regards to everything else and its ingredient profile, it is a relatively high quality, high purity protein. And that is why it's my go-to and that is why I'm super excited to review it with you all today. So I wanna get into a little bit about the history of Isopure. They were founded in 1984 by two gentlemen named Hal and Ernie. And that is 40 years ago now. And the brand really started with the vision to change how people thought about nutrition and the intake of clean, high quality, high purity products. Starting in 1984 when they began, Hal and Ernie started things off with simple ingredients concrete mixer, and a lot of hard work. Fast forward to 1998, when they introduced Isopure, they really revolutionized the protein drink. Isopure focuses on creating products that are for people with an active and healthy lifestyle, and they really show this with their ingredient profile and focusing on creating products that really have high quality, high purity, and a very relatively simple and clean ingredient profile. So as you could imagine, being a relatively legacy brand. Isopure does have a range of products. They also have a range of flavors for their proteins. However, today we are reviewing their whey protein isolate and we are reviewing vanilla and chocolate, our standard go-to uh, flavors to taste. All right, we know what time it is. Moving on to Big Four with Big C. Big Four with Big C is a very important part of this video because we go into the four most important things that I think matter most when making a decision about a protein that you're gonna be consuming for months, potentially years, or whatever it may be. Uh, starting things off, we always go into taste because that's just a relatively important part of most things that we consume. We want to consume things that taste good and don't make us squirm or make a weird face. So taste being number one. Number two being mixability because those things go hand in hand. Uh, we want things that go down smooth and aren't super weird, have a weird texture as we consume them. So mixability is, is very important. Number three, nutritional value. 
um, just because, again, it's very important to understand what we're putting in our bodies and what we're speaking to, uh, for me, at, at least, and, and talking to you out there, allowing you to understand what is, are in these proteins um, and what they're displaying from, from a nutritional value perspective. And then number four, bang for your buck, because who doesn't like to save money when it comes to anything? Um, and you know, protein is a very important aspect uh, with anyone's fitness and health journey. So yeah, if it's something that you're gonna be purchasing a lot, being able to save money as much as possible wherever you can is truly important. And that's why bang for your buck is important. And when it comes to protein overall, protein is super important for recovery and muscle building, helping us get that tone look as well as helping us amplify the things that we're doing in the gym and or with our fitness routine overall and really helping amplify those results and helping us work towards looking the way we want to look. All right, we know what time it is. It is the first segment in Big Four with Big C, and that is the taste test. The reason why it's number one for me is because it is the most important part of the things that I like to talk about because, again, who doesn't like to consume things that taste good? Uh, nobody wants to have a product or supplement that they're going to be consuming that tastes like crap. So <laughs> it's very important to you know talk about taste, and again, Isopure does happen to be my go-to uh, protein when I am consuming a protein powder. Uh, if I'm not getting enough from my food or whatever it may be, as I mentioned, I like to typically get my daily intake from food, uh, but this is something that I will use if I'm on a go, don't have time to eat my meal prep or consume uh, the necessary meals to, to, to get the protein uh, from my foods. So let's jump on into it. All right, Vanilla, show me what you got like you normally do. There's 25 grams of protein per scoop, um, which is, you know, pretty solid, especially, uh, again, for being isopure, which there's, especially this one, there's no sugar, no carb, no fat. This is 100% protein, um, you know, and, and it's just very, which is a very integral macronutrient that we should be focused on. So throw that in there. Got my eight ounces of water, which is just kind of the standard go-to amount that most uh, proteins suggest on their label for recommended usage. Six to eight ounces. I like to go to the top end of that range. Shake it on up. Moving on up. Isopure is not one of those things you need to shake too long, but for the sake of this video, sticking to my 15 to 30 seconds to really get that good mixability, make sure this thing plays out the right way, doing what we gotta do. So, all right. Let's see what we got in real time with vanilla. Here we go. It's actually been a little bit since I've, although it sits in my cabinet. It's been a little bit since I've actually consumed it. I've been doing really good with meeting my protein goals from my food. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to, to give it a try. It's been a little bit. Wow. Yeah. Um, that doesn't disappoint. Never does. Um, as I mentioned in other videos, vanilla is typically my favorite flavor and that right there for when you consider the no sugar, no carb, no fat, high quality, high purity that Isopure delivers on, that right there, taste wise, I'm gonna have to give that an eight, um, which I would like to think that is rel very good from the standpoint of how I typically grade things. Again, I don't think anything is perfect. Very hard to get a nine or 10. Um, and that's just kind of the tone that I'm setting when it comes to reviews shoot me so that is an eight which i think is really good um based on how i review things and again understanding that i don't think anything is perfect um so yeah that did not surprise me because as i've said over and over again in this video uh, isopure is actually my go-to protein supplement and that is one of the reasons why for the, for what you get 
with the quality and the purity, um, the no carb, no sugar, uh, no fat. Um, that's, it's, it's a really good tasting protein, which really matters when you combine that with trying to have a high quality protein as well. So that is an eight. Super excited to try chocolate because I've actually never tried chocolate isopure. Um, so it's a new flavor for me, which seems exciting, especially the way they deliver with vanilla. Um, so yeah, super excited to dive into chocolate. Let's see what chocolate has to offer. And that bad boy up. Whew. All right. 25 grams. Whoops, dropped a little bit. Throw that in there. So, shake it on up. Let's see, chocolate. Show me what you got. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Whew. Looking forward to it. 15 to 30. All right, let's see what we got, chocolate. Show me what we're working with. All right. Chocolate was chocolate was good. Um, the thing it, it very, very consistent with what you get with Isopure. It tastes clean. It tastes high quality. You can taste the uh, love and effort that they really put into their products. The, the 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 purity was there. Was not as good as vanilla, which is what I expected as a big vanilla fan. Um, you will see that I have chosen chocolate taste over vanilla in other videos. So do not say that I am biased towards vanilla and always say vanilla is better than chocolate from a taste perspective, because that's not true. So in this regard, vanilla was better at an eight. Um, I'm gonna have to give this a 7.5. It, it had, uh, it, it didn't taste as great. And even though this has one gram of carb in it and maybe a half a gram of fat where Vanilla has zero of fat, carbs, and sugar. Um, I thought this may end up tasting better um, and with keeping that in mind, but it was a little more, uh, it tasted a little more watered down. Um, didn't have a strong chocolate flavor, but again, it, it, was, it was clean. Uh, felt clean going down, felt pure going down. Uh, was, was very smooth, so 76 um, for chocolate, not too far behind vanilla at eight. Again, it just didn't have that strong chocolate flavor. Uh, with vanilla, you can really taste the vanilla, and as a vanilla fan, um, I take pleasure in that. So, yeah, 7.6 for chocolate, uh, which again, I think is very solid. And just based on what I just experienced, my first time with Isopure chocolate, 7.6, I feel good about. So, moving on to mixability, which is right up there uh, with when I think when it comes to importance of taste. And I think they really go hand in hand because mixability just has probably a lot to do with the taste um, because a, a lot of us out there, I know me, we don't like to consume things that, you know, have a weird texture, if it's chunky or super, has super thick feel to it, just not ideal. Um, you know, and, and again, at least for me, that could be your cup of tea, just just not mine. So mixability and taste go really hand in hand. Again, one to 10 um, score uh, rating, and how I like to operate. And uh, yeah, gonna be, get right to it in that regard. And I like to say that the mixability is right there with the taste and they really have a, a clean, pure taste both flavors and go down really smooth, mix really well. There, were no, there was no extra powder that I tasted as I consumed it. So for me, I'm gonna have to give, give this a mixability of 8.2. I think it was very solid. Went hand in hand with the taste, which is right around at 8.2 as well. Uh, just falling a little bit underneath. Um, mixed very well. Again, very, very smooth, went down great. Um, yeah, and just got the job done. And moving on to number three in big four with Big C, and that is nutritional value. 
So I've alluded to a lot of nutritional value already in this video and as it pertains to isopure, the history of isopure, they actually were founded on the basis of high quality nutritional value. So, you know, I think they're going to score out pretty well here. Um, now, I'll be honest, there is artificial flavoring in isopure. Um, again, as I, as I mentioned earlier, it is very rare that something that needs to have shelf life like our supplements like powders um, where you won't have some sort of artificial flavoring or filler in them. Uh, there's a lot of protein companies out there, or protein supplements out there with a lot more than others, especially a lot more than Isopure. So for the most part, it definitely favors towards a cleaner, higher purity profile as I've, as I've alluded to, but there are some ingredients that, um, you know, are considered, are, there is artificial flavoring and there's things in here that are, isn't everybody's cup of tea. So I want to be honest and transparent about that. But again, considering that it's a protein supplement that needs to have shelf life, um, those things do happen a lot. Some brands have, you know, tried to figure out how to get even cleaner. And, but unfortunately that sacrifices the uh, taste and, you know, finding that, that, that balance is, can be very tough. Uh, so again, just want to be transparent about that, but for the most part is a relatively clean, high purity, high quality product. Um, and you know, the, the nutritional value is, is, is very solid. You know, when you really take a look at it, being able to have and consume something that is a hundred to 110 calories, you're getting 25 grams of protein can be really great for implementing into your fitness and health routine um, to help you reach that protein intake that you're looking to reach in order to help with muscle building and muscle recovery. And when you look at it and you have no fat, no carbs, no sugar, and none of that extra stuff that can hinder your results, but just straight high quality, 100% whey protein um, isolate in this regard, uh, it can really go a long way in helping you reach your goals. And again, the ingredient profile is relatively solid for the most part. There's that artificial flavoring, which obviously knocks it down a tad. Um, but again, relatively clean ingredient profile, high quality, high purity. So nutritional value, I'm gonna have to give it a 7.8. And last but not least, moving on to bang for your buck, because as always, who doesn't like to save money when working towards their fitness and health goals? So when it comes to Isopure, you actually may get sticker shock. This bigger tub can cost as much as $97. Um, I've even seen it cost more, however, um, in this smaller tub, um, it can be as high as $69 and, you know, $69 to $75. Um, but however, with that being said, there could be some sticker shock, but when you really break it down, because Isopure does a good job of filling these containers up with their product and with their protein, uh, which some companies don't do for whatever reason. Um, for example, this has 66 uh, servings in it. So when you when you break down that math, that's about a dollar and four cents per serving, um, which isn't that bad. And when you break th this down, which is about 41 servings, the uh, smaller container, this has 40, 41 servings, and that comes out to about a dollar and seven cents. Um, so obviously, the more you buy, they reward you for that, and uh, you end up saving more money for the long term. So. If, you're, if you really like Isopure or you just want to try it, maybe start out with this, or they may have a smaller version, I look into that. Um, and I'm sure they potentially have some sample packets or whatever. But if you do, do end up making a commitment to Isopure, you know, you get a better bang for your buck with the bigger tub. Um, again, 66 servings in this one, dollar and four cents. Uh, you know, this is about dollar and seven cents at 41 servings. Uh, you know, with that being said, for such a high quality, high purity protein, where you're getting 25 grams of protein per scoop, you're getting 66 servings in this tub, 41 servings in this tub, that's a lot of servings um, to be able to take advantage of and work towards your fitness and health goals. Um, I have to say, with all that being said, and, and again, reiterating on the low carb, low fat, low sugar option, low calorie as well. Um, for the most part, you are getting a really solid bang for your buck in my eyes, especially if you're someone who is looking for that um, high purity, 
high quality protein in the ways that I do. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna have to say when you combine nutritional value with the price point, and after again, breaking down um, the kind of sticker shock that may exist, uh, you know, it's really not that bad. I'm gonna have to give um, bang for your buck a 7.9. Um, I think it is pretty solid considering all things. Um, I think a 7.9 is a pretty solid result from that when, when thinking about it all. And, you know, you won't be disappointed. You do grab you some Isopure. I think it'll be a great decision for you and it'll really help you reach your fitness and health goals. So just some final thoughts. Um, Isopure is a great protein uh, supplement in my eyes. I think it's really for you if you're looking for a higher quality, higher purity protein with a pretty solid ingredient profile. Um, you know, and, and, and again, I think you'll really find what you're looking for. Pretty solid taste, pretty solid mixability, pretty solid um, nutritional value, as well as, uh, again, even bang for your buck being pretty solid when you consider all things and, and, and break it all down. So, you know, if you're someone who has that upfront um, money to spend, um, whether it be, you know, 69 to 100 bucks, um, Isopure can be a very good option for you. Um, and again, especially if you're looking for something with a solid uh, ingredient profile, um, you know, and, and, and just a really high quality protein. So uh, yeah, Isopure would be a great decision, I think for you. I really hope you enjoyed your time with me today and one-in-one -in -one reviews. Uh, please do like and subscribe. If you did, there is a more detailed written out text, full blog in the description below. We'd love for you to read it. If you want more information uh, beyond this video here, uh, we do have other reviews as well um, on, on that website. You can go check us out at oneinonelife.com slash reviews. Um, we are all about getting 1% better together. Please join us for more and stay tuned. Coach Big C out.